Hey everyone, Ken Whiting here with Paddle TV and today we're looking at what's best, the canoe bent shaft or the canoe straight shaft paddle. Before we get into it though, please subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when new tips, tricks, paddling guides or Paddle Tales episodes come live. Paddle Tales is a series that goes to in, on incredible paddling ventures around, around the world. There's a link in the description, uh, description box down below where you can check some of them out. So, bent shaft versus straight shaft paddles. Now, a lot of people may have never have heard of a bent shaft paddle before. The idea, first of all, behind the bent shaft paddle is that when you're taking a forward stroke, it makes that stroke more efficient. And the reason for that is you, the way you actually use it is not the way most people would commonly think or first timers would commonly think that you'd be scooping water. It's the opposite. You're paddling with the bend away from you. And now the reason for that is as you take your forward stroke, at this part of the stroke, the blade is pretty much vertical and it stays fairly vertical through the, the tail end of the stroke versus a straight shaft paddle when you're taking a stroke once it passes your knee you're starting to pull up your your blade is no longer straight and just pro propelling the boat forward you're pulling water up which is actually creating, it's pulling your boat down a little bit and creating more drag. And, but you're more importantly, you're definitely losing some power, pro, uh, some propulsion power. So that's the idea behind the bent shaft paddle is it's designed to make your forward stroke more efficient and effective for a long day of forward paddling. And that's key because it's designed for forward paddling. Uh, and it does a good job of it, there's no doubt. You know, it's very similar to, uh, you know, a kayaking, a bent shaft paddle, that it's, a, it's uh, designed to do something uh, better, and, and that's, that's uh, the reason to use it. Does it do everything better? No, it doesn't do everything better. A more traditional, a straight shaft paddle, this is the Bending Branches Java. Well, this one, actually, the bent shaft one, was uh, Bending Branches Catalyst. Uh, this paddle, straight shaft paddle is more of an all-purpose paddle. It's designed to, it sure, it does a great job of propell propelling you forward. Great job at forward strokes. Not quite as efficient as a bent shaft, but the joy of this thing is that there's no right or wrong way to use it. Uh, either side works just fine. The, uh, the other joy of it is that for other strokes, back strokes, draw strokes, uh, draws, crossbow draws, all the other strokes that you might do at a canoe, it's more intuitive, it's easier to do with a straight shaft paddle because both sides are the same. Uh, for paddling in rougher conditions, whitewater paddling, you know, that's definitely a time for a blade that's good on both sides because you're gonna be taking a lot of backstrokes as well as forward strokes and draw strokes and a lot of different, uh, different strokes. Whereas when you're on a, on a tour, when you're going canoe tripping and just mostly paddling forward, that's a really, that's when the argument for a bent shaft really comes into play. And really it has, uh, there's a very strong argument for using a bent shaft paddle for canoe tripping when you're just going to be largely covering distance. Now, right now, uh, I've never done this before, but right now I'm in Clarney Provincial Park and just finished day four of a five day canoe trip where we've been covering a lot of ground, doing a lot of portaging, but a lot of paddling as well. And what I did to really test the two paddles out is I paddled the first two days with the Bending Branches Catalyst bent shaft. Uh, and then I have paddled the past two days with the, with the Java, just to, to see, you know, try two full days back to back to really get a feel what do I like better for this type of trip or in general and I have to say that I like the straight shaft paddle better and I think that's because of my background I'm a paddler I'm a whitewater paddler I'm a whitewater kayaker I'm a whitewater canoeer I'm a 
I just paddle. I love paddling and I love all the different intri intricate strokes that come with paddling. I don't just care about my forward stroke. And so I love having uh, more dexterity with a straight shaft. Um, not to mention it just feels comfortable. Maybe it's over time I would learn to, learn to appreciate a bent shaft paddle, but for me, I'm more comfortable with the straight shaft, uh, even after two full days paddling with the bent shaft. So, you know, that's what I would choose um, if, uh, if I had to choose right now. What I can tell you if you're going to choose paddles is that you want to choose a paddle that's about four inches longer if you're going with a straight shaft paddle versus a, uh, a bent shaft paddle. This paddle that I'm using is around uh, this the straight shaft is 58 inches and the bench shaft is 54 inches now I'm around six foot two 200 pounds and so uh, you know I, I've got pretty long arms and so that's what I use uh, doesn't mean that's what you should use uh, it's a very personal thing but there you go there you have it straight shaft bench shaft no there isn't a real one's better than the other they have their own purpose but after some pretty thorough testing here in Killarney Provincial Park. I'm, a, go, I'm leaning towards the straight shaft as my go-to paddle. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And I know there's gonna be some strong opinions out there about, uh, about the different types of paddles. Some people that don't agree at all with what I'm saying, love to hear it in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and please stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and all sorts of other videos here on Paddle TV.